which MSU is a huge grant, very competitive, nationally competitive grant, $500 million, I think. Uh, neither the University of Michigan nor, nor Wayne State had a direct stake in that, but together we advocated very, I think, effectively mm -hmm. in favor of that. Of course, it has a huge scientific and academic worldwide impact, but it was really an MSU uh, proposal and an MSU grant. So it's an example of where we collaborated, where one institution was very clearly in the lead. Mm -hmm. uh, there's another example, uh, which is the perinatology research branch in, uh, in Detroit, which is an NIH, it's the only NIH branch that's not on the NIH campus. And there we have collaborative relationships across the spectrum. This, this uh, branch deals with uh, maternal and fetal medicine and uh, prevention of the problems uh, that come from neonatal care and perinatal care and uh, uh, and all of the things having to do with complicated pregnancies. And we have, we have all three institutions are involved in that in a very collaborative way. And are also talking as we are, we're in a more competitive environment for grant and contract activity within the United States, how we can uh, uh, pattern some of our hiring practices if we think about some work that we've done historically with that center in epidemiology. Mm -hmm. uh, rather than sort of say, in order to fill the grant, uh, Wayne State might need to hire one epidemiologist. The question is how can we partner in a better way so that it not only works for that center, but it works for the children's study, which is also very important. And those synergies, I think, are going to give us a competitive <coughs> advantage in the future. I, I also think that you can't underestimate the fact that, you know, we are three years now into this, into this, there's a lot of skepticism when we started. Sure. You know, what is this, a PR campaign? Uh, what are you trying to do, grab money from other places? <laughs> Well, you know, I hope that, that what people have understood is that it's not what we're trying to do at all. But I will tell you, simply the notion that we, we've all committed, we've all committed money to make this happen. The three presidents have said this is really important. We've gotten our vice presidents on board. We're talking, we've got our economic development people on board. We now, at least for, I can say this for myself, and, and I think my colleagues would agree, is that now when issues come up, we sort of automatically think, well, URC. Mm -hmm. what, what can we do with the URC? What, what, why should we, why can't we, we pull in our, our, the other institutions and it's much less about that University of Michigan at Ann Arbor has to do it all. We can't do it all. We understand that we can't do it all. Uh, the, the, the world is too competitive. There's not enough money. We've got to focus on what our strengths are. So, so I think, I think that, that the, the symbolism of this, this that we've all committed ourselves to, and we've put money behind it, and we certainly wouldn't have hired Jeff if we if we hadn't act, really believed that we had made the progress that we'd made in the two years. I don't think we could have hired Jeff in year <laughs> one, you know, because we didn't we didn't have enough to there wasn't enough substance, and and we're going to be challenged all the time to keep coming up with the next thing and the next substance and the next level and where we're going to go. But that's a good kind of challenge for us to have, to put the pressure on ourselves, to say, OK, then what does this in reality mean? Uh, but uh, I'm feeling pretty good about where we are uh, because I've seen over my career a lot of these, uh, these, these, tri these, these, these collaborations try to form. Mm -hmm. And uh, more often than not, they fall apart. But, but this isn't falling apart. I mean, this is becoming real. And, uh, and, and in ways that I'm, I'm sort of constantly reminded myself, and I think that's a good sign. Let me give you a, a, a recent example. Um, came, I came to my attention, as it would to any of my colleagues, I think, in terms of the normal course of business. There was an opportunity to potentially get a, a major grant on technical assistance for, for informa health information. And and I knew that uh, people were trying to scramble around to figure out how to get Wayne State and Michigan State and University of Michigan engaged in this grant. So easy phone call, talk to, to Jay and Mary Sue, said, what do you think about this as something that Jeff could help coordinate, not to take it away from the faculty members who have all the expertise, but just to help run the interference because the timelines are pretty short in order to be able to apply for this money. And all of us, it was easy phone call. All of us agreed that this is a great thing to try to test the boundaries of the URC uh, 
new organization that we had. You were probably here only a couple yeah, of days. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> a couple of days. first couple of days. A couple of days. <laughs> couple of days. So, so and, uh, and, and it really is, it, it's, it's a little bit of a, a glue, a traffic cop, mm -hmm. trying to facilitate those, those uh, communications in ways that, that uh, put us in a position to compete. You're not always going to win when you compete. We want to put Michigan in a position to compete more often and for bigger things. It's, it's really the effort example. Yeah, those, that's sort of a big thing. Is uh, they're very unusual, but there are lots of other things. Yeah, we always want to be at the table. Right. Uh, you know, another yeah. another great example just in the last couple of weeks, Matt was um, Wayne State hosted, but there were faculty from the other two universities. Over 150 people down at Wayne State University for a day long session on environmental health sciences, hmm. um, and so you had. You know, over 120 faculty members from each of the all three of the institutions, talking with NIH uh, as well as each other about you know, collaborations and opportunities, with the goal of you know better connections and ultimately you know more proposals uh, to NIH that can be more competitive for funding. And it's a good example and, and a demonstration of how it is attractive nationally, the, the director of the National Institute for Environmental Health Sciences came to kick it off. So, you know, it attracts that kind of attention. Uh, one other thing about this uh, that I think is worth mentioning, and one of the reasons why I think we're doing very well against those other consortia in the country, which as I say are very impressive, is because we have a very complementary set of three institutions that none of the others have. We have uh, very clearly the best or one of the one or two best land grant institutions in MSU. We have clearly uh, the very top of the cover all the bases in the University of Michigan. And, uh, you know, I'm saying it about Wayne State, so therefore you have to take it with a grain of salt. But, but, but one but of us can say it. <laughs> 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 but but, 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 but Wayne it. State is, yeah. is clearly uh, one of the leading urban research universities. When you combine all those things together, uh, we really cover the bases like none of the other consortia can. I think the other thing that we hope uh, will will become a, a, you know, a more regularized process is that when, when wherever the entity is in the state trying to recruit uh, new businesses or trying to convince uh, uh, startups you know, where, they're, where they're going to stay, that there will be this, this, as we increase the information and the knowledge about what we're trying to accomplish, that it will be an automatic phone call to Jeff uh, to say, uh, okay, this company wants to know how they can interact with university researchers, or where are the university researchers that know some esoteric uh, something about an engine development? I, you know, who knows what it is, and that he then, uh, because of his position uh, in knowing and coordinating how to how to maneuver within the three institutions, can put the company or the economic development entity or whatever in charge with a knowledgeable person at one of the universities to, to make the contact. Because if, if there's one thing that I hear more than anything else is that we don't know, the universities are black boxes. We don't know how to access the talent in the universities. We don't know how to get to the research. And this is another effort to try to make that transparent and easy mm -hmm. uh, so that there's a there's a, a centralized place that, that people can go. But there's, a, I mean, th well, there's another aspect of this I want to, each of us have are in communities right. with their own economic development sure. engines, yeah. and they tend to, and, and so are other mm -hmm. communities. But what we hope with Jeff is, is and we've talked with them, mm -hmm. is that if you're in a community and you want to stay in it, you, you, it's not a requirement to move to one of our towns mm -hmm. in yeah. order to have access to the right. URC uh, research, because part of having Jeff's office is that he can work with those agencies, connect, and not and and work then with the local economic development organization, whatever that one is, to say it's best to keep that company in your town to grow it, and here's a way to connect to the expertise. Uh, and that's a very unusual well, characteristic. I think, of I think the other thing uh, about <coughs> these three institutions that is pretty impressive is that each of them have now stepped up and created really their own entry point or business portal, if you will, an entry point into the university, whether it's Business Connect at NSU or Engagement Center in Ann Arbor or the front door um, at Wayne State, really created this kind of, you know, easy one-stop shop, if you will, so that, you know, from the URC standpoint, we have really go-to people at each of the institutions 
to really be able to now you know, mm -hmm. capitalize on the huge amount of talent that exists at these institutions.